therefore the diagram on the right shows a part of the curve y is equal to ax plus bx so this one the pink one the line this one is normal to the curve this one is normal to the curve at p so normal to the curve and this normal intersect the curve again at q find the value of a and p so we know that we have equation of normal so we have equation of normal which is equal to 3y minus x is equal to 14 so we know that from the equation we can find equation of dy over dx we can this is the gradient of tangent and we know that from the gradient of tangent m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 so gradient of tangent times gradient of normal is equal to negative 1 so now we have equation of normal so if we can arrange it in y is equal to mx plus c then we will know what is our gradient so this one 3y minus x is equal to 14 3y is equal to so we bring to the other side we get x plus 14 so y is equal to so this one divide everything with 3 1 over 3x plus 14 over 3 so now we know that our m is 1 over 2 this one is grade uh, this one is gradient of normal so we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 right so m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1 which is negative 1 divided this one is 1 over 3 so negative 1 times 3 over 1 which is equal to negative 3 so we know that this one the gradient of tangent is negative 3 which one this one is equal to dy over dx so here we know that dy over dx is equal to negative 3 So here we know that y is equal to ax plus b over x. So if you want to, you know that dy over dx is equal to negative 3. So we have to find what is our dy over dx. So to calculate this one, the x cannot be down. So y is equal to ax plus bx negative 1. So to bring it up, it will become power of negative 1. This one is power of 1. So bring up become power of negative 1. So dy over dx is equal to, so when we differentiate ax, we get a. So when we differentiate this one, we bring the power, multiply with front, front. negative 1 times b, we get negative bx. Negative 1 minus 1, we get negative 2. So a minus b over x square. So this one is our dy over dx. So we know here, this one, the gradient is negative 3 at point 1. Five. So we know that our x is equal to 1. So when dy over dx is negative 3, x is equal to 1. So here we know that a minus b, a minus b is equal to negative 3. So here y is equal to ax plus b over x. So at this point, we are using the same point which is 1, 5. So we know that when we substitute this, uh, we can get in term of a and b. So when y is equal to 5, a is equal to, this one x is equal to 1 plus b over 1. So here we get a plus b is equal to 5. So we have two equations, so we can do simultaneous equation. So this one a plus b is equal to 5, a minus b is equal to negative 3. So here we can eliminate b or a, you can choose. So here if we plus negative plus b minus minus b, Okay, so you can plus or add. So here if we minus, we can eliminate A and if we plus, we can eliminate B. So for example, if I want to eliminate B, so I plus A plus A is 2A. Positive plus negative, we get 0. 5 plus negative 3, we get 2. A is equal to 2. A is equal to 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1. So we get our A. So we know that here that A minus B is equal to negative 3. When A is equal to 1, minus B is equal to negative 3. So here we B bring to the other side. So here 1, negative 3 bring to the other side become positive 3. So here we get 4. So A is 1, B is 4. So here 
A is equal to 1, B is equal to 4. B, the equation of tangent at point P. So, we know that dy over dx is equal to negative 3. And our P is 1, 5. So, we can just use y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So, y minus this one is x1, y1, 5 is equal to. So, this one is negative 3, x minus x1 is 1. y minus 5 is equal to negative 3 times x negative 3, x negative 3 times 1, we get plus 3. So, y is equal to negative 3x, we bring 5 to the other side, become positive. So, y is equal to negative 3x plus 8. This one is equation of tangent at point P. C, coordinates of Q. So, we see here Q. So, we have this line, right? So, we have the equation of this line. It is dy minus x is equal to 14. And we have this one, y is equal to ax plus bx. So we can see that p and q is the intersection between two lines. So basically what we need to do is simultaneous equation. Persamaan serentak lah. So here we, we get the value of a and b already, right? So a is 1. So this one is 1 times x is x plus b is 4. 4 divided by x so this is 1 this is 2 so here I wanted to find my x right so I bring to the other side so I bring 14 to the other side we get 3y minus 14 so this one so I can substitute my x in here so here y is equal to x is 3y minus 14 plus this one is 4 divided by 3y minus 14 so you see here this one. So y is equal to, so to combine here, we see here we have a fraction here. So we have to multiply with the same one so that we can make it the denominator. So 3y minus 14 square because 3y minus 14 times 3y minus 14. So here we can have 3y minus 14. So this one is plus 4. So this one we can bring to other side. Y, 3y minus 14 is equal to. So this one we can expand in a minus b square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So 3y square we get 9y square. 2 times 14 times 3 we get 84y. So 2 times 14 times 3y. 2 times negative 14 times 3y we get negative 84y. And then 14 square we get... 196 plus 196 and don't forget our 4 here alright so this one we get 3y square minus 14y is equal to 9y square minus 84y plus 200 so we bring at one side we bring everything to the right, uh, right hand side so 9y square minus 3y square we get 6y square ok this one is done Okay, and then negative 84, why we bring negative 14 to the other side, become positive 14. So negative 84 plus 14, we get negative 70, why? And okay, done. And then we have 200 here, which is plus 200 is equal to 0. So we can divide with 2, so 3y square minus 35y plus 100 is equal to 0. So here we get 3y minus 20 and then y minus 5 is equal to 0. So we know that y is equal to 20 over 3 or y is equal to 5. So if you see here this point, y is equal to 5. So we know that at this point, y is equal to 20 over 3. So here, when y is equal to 20 over 3, x is equal to 3, 20 over 3 minus 14, right? This one is 3y minus 14. So here we can cancel out 3. So 20 minus 14 is equal to 6. So here, the point here, the coordinates of q, q is 
6 our x is 6 and our y is 20 over 3 or you can even change it in points or in the this one which is divide, 20 divided by 3 we get 6 2 over 3 so here q 6 6 2 over 3 D, the coordinates of the midpoint P, Q. So our P is 1, 5. So our Q is, so this one is 6, 6, 2 over 3. But then it will be easier for us to calculate if it is in improper fashion. So this one is 20 over 3. So this one P, Q. So the midpoint, so midpoint is equal to, so X1 plus X2 divided by 2, Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. So x is actually this one is 1 plus 6 divided by 2 and this one is 5 plus 20 over 3 divided by 2. So this one is 7 over 2 and 5 plus 20 over 3 so you can multiply what with 3 over 3. Why? Because I want to make it over 3 so that we can combine. So 15 plus 20 we get 35 over 3 and then divided by another 2 so here we get 7 over 2 this one we get 35 over 6 so if we change it into mixed number so here we get 3 1 over 2 and 35 divided by 6 so 35 divided by 6 you get 5 right you get 30 which is this one is 5 5 over 6 